And we say, Crab Yasharala! Crab Yasharala! You got a question, sir? Come here real quick. I have a question, man. I want to see why the Lord did that to your crown. Come here. How do you... Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'll play. What do you want? What's your ethnic background, if you don't mind me asking? Just, just, just for context. European? European? How do you how do you feel about the rate robber murder of black, Hispanic, and Native Indians here in the Americas? I don't think it's any different than any other race. Okay, so how do you feel about it? You said you don't think there's any difference. It's too much? So what do you think should happen for it? For all the wrong, the rate rob murder, the destruction, the degradation. So taking guns away is gonna repair for years and centuries of rape, rob, and murder. Who you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyalty when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wine You're looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the curb. First, I always say, Kahala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, that's all praise to the most high God in the name of his son, right? We out here to teach the, the children of Israel, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that they are the true children of God, right? Hey, shut up, bro. You got a question, bro? At our school, we don't, we don't have a, a physical building yet at this time, but we, we come out here Fridays, no, Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays. Now, if you want to congregate with us, you can uh, get that flyer. Got all our information on us. You can contact us. Where can Give me Matthew's file. All right. We are here to teach you the, the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, that they are the true children of God, right? And they they are the light to the world, right? They are, they are the, the the precious nation of God. Start at uh, 13. This, this, math, this book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, and say ye are the salt of the earth, right? You are the flavor of the earth, right? Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, where will shall where will shall it be salted? He said, if the salt had lost its flavor, where would it be salted, right? And if y'all have forgotten your God, what are what what is your use? If you're not keeping these laws, that your commandments, and let your light shine, what is your use? The Most High God has chosen you out of all these other nations to be a special people. Until, give me uh, Deuteronomy 14 fourteen and two. The Most High God has chosen you to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be a special people unto Him, right? You you are the the, the uh, apple of God's eye, right? You, you are the jewel of, of God. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. But thou art holy people. It said, thou art holy people. The word holy means separate. You are set apart from these other nations on earth, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. A holy people unto the Lord thy God. No and the right Lord there. thy God have chosen there thee. No right it said, the Lord have God has chosen you. Give me um, Psalms 17 and 8. Thee to be a peculiar people, to be a peculiar people, right? Unto himself, above all nations that are upon the, upon the earth. When you tell blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are above all these other nations, above these Caucasians, above these these Chinese people, above these um, Africans, right? Above, above these East Indians, these these Ishmaelites, right? You tell them they're above all these other nations, and and they neglect their knowledge, right? They. They neglect the knowledge that they are superior beings on earth, right? This is Psalm chapter 17, verse 8. Keep me as the apple of thy eye. They say what? Keep, keep me as the apple of thy eye. They even say, keep me as the apple of thy eye. You are supposed to be God's people, but you are not walking as God's people. You are walking in darkness and in sin, right? Y'all are children of the world. Y'all are children of the devil. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Hide, look. We are children of God, but we want to choose to marry Caucasian men, man. That's 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 weakness, man. That's How are you going to marry your oppression, man? That's, right. that, that's a that's a self-esteem issue you have going on. That's, man. that's right. Verse nine: From the wicked that oppress me, 
Hey, how y'all doing, bro? This your second time walking by. Give me two minutes. Give me two minutes to talk about God, man. Let me let me talk about your salvation, bro. You want to be saved, right? Cause you're not saved right now, bro. You still in out here in these streets, bro. Verse nine again. This is Psalm 17, verse eight. Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Set me right. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me. From the wicked that oppressed us, right? We're supposed to be coming to God and, and obeying, obeying his commandments for we can have that protection, right? We don't have that protection. God is allowing these other nations to do what thou wilt with us, man. They can do whatever they want with us because we are rejecting God, man. And we're supposed to be God's people. We're supposed to be in the image of God. We're supposed to be walking Christ-like, right? But we want to be everyday niggas. We want to we wanna keep the, the, the um, commandments of men. We want to follow the world. We want to be in these nightclubs every weekend. We want to eat pork. We want to eat defiled things. And, and we want to love our persons, man. Can you finish that out? Yeah, 14. 14. Yeah. For thou art, uh, verse 3, thou shalt not any abominable thing. For thou art in a holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. He said, Thou shalt not eat any abominable things. But what 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 the so-called black Hispanics and black Hispanics and Native Americans love? They love pork, man. They they love pork is is their delicacy, man. They love hopping on that grill and, and fixing their barbecue ribs, man. Uh, the, the most high God says he's gonna kill the people that consume swine. But you supposed to be God's chosen people. You supposed to be walking like Christ, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh Matthew, have him home. We're gonna go all the way, um, all the way down to Matthew five. This is Matthew five, verse fourteen. Ye are the light of the world. Say, ye are the light of the world. And my brother was just talking about we are the light, right? How 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 are you a light to the world? Oh, man, fact, give me that uh, four and five. You are a light to the world by by keeping these commandments and these statutes, right? That what makes you the light to the world. That's your wisdom and your understanding, right? A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. And, and do men light a candle and put it under a, 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 a covering, right? Y'all y'all hiding y'all light, right? Y'all and most of y'all don't even have any light because y'all walking in darkness. Y'all not obeying these laws that you commandments. How you doing, sister? How you doing? You believe in God? You believe you believe in God, brother? Yeah. Yeah? Can we talk about it for a second? It's hot. It ain't that hot over here, bro. I got shade right here. Hey, you make an excuse to neglect God, man. I don't. Be I don't believe you believe in God. You have to prove to me you believe in God, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter four, verse five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God command me that ye should do in the land whether ye go to possess it. Where you where you go to possess it, right? Keep, on. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. This is your wisdom. This is your light. This is that that light you're supposed to be shining to your brothers and to, to these other nations, man. They're supposed to look upon you and see God. But they look upon you and they, they see trash, bro. Because y'all disobey God, man. Y'all y'all been trampled upon by these other nations. And your understanding in all these statutes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And your understanding in the sight of the nation. And how y'all doing, family? Y'all doing good? How you y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in God? You said what? Hey, come here. Come here, bro. Let's talk about it real quick, bro. No, no, no. What you mean? No, you gonna let a woman tell you no? You, <laughs> hey, hey, you believe in God. Talk about it, bro. Absolutely. He was black. He was black? African. He was black? Absolutely. Yeah, how, how would you prove that, though? Because he's miserable. Can, can I show you that in the Bible, though? For you can, for when you say it, you can show somebody else. Look here, bro. This is how I know he was a so-called colored man, right? All right, boom. Give me um, God bless you. I'll show you real quick. For, for when you say that, you can tell people why you say it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Like wool, right? Like like your hair, right? Yeah. Woolly texture. Right? As white as snow. As white as snow. 
and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was a flame of fire, right? Because it's, it's, a, it's a vengeance that, that he waiting on. He's sitting in the corner waiting to get in the ring to, to pay back the, 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 the oppressors of, of his nation. And his, and his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass. You know what color brass is, right? Like yeah. copper, like a penny, right? As if they burnt in a furnace. But as, as it burnt in a furnace, so not only that it was that color, it was dark, right? So now you have proof that Christ was a so-called dark man with woolly hair. And what people want this earth that has dark skin and woolly hair. A, a so-called African-American man. Absolutely. So-called black man. So so what that tell you? That tell you Christ was a so-called black man, right? Black man. So, yeah. where, so where you from? That's from uh, Sudan. Sudan? What's, what's your father? From Sudan. Egyptian. Well, look. Our message out here for for the people that experienced that the people that the so-called African Americans that went through slavery on slave ships, the Native Americans, and the, the so-called Hispanics, right? That's what our message is for. Other outside of them people, everybody else will be consumed, right? Everybody else will be put in slavery and 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 be be servants to the Israelites. You know that, right? You know the Bible teaches slavery. That that the Israel, the nation of Israel, the Israelites will be on top. And all the other nations will be below them. You know that? So you know you from one of them other nations, you will be below the Israelites, right? You know that you're in that position right now that you might be, that you're, you're probably not an Israelite. Absolutely not. Yeah, you just thought you're not. So, so, you be, so you beneath me. That's below. Okay, this is Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let, let your light so shine before men that... That they might see your good works. That they might see your good works. Like it said in Deuteronomy 4 and 5, right? This, and, and if your wisdom is shining, the surely these other nations would say this is a, a, a marvelous, great, this is a great nation, right? This is a nation I could look up to, right? And glorify your Father which is in heaven. And, and all doing glorify the Father, your Howard, which is in heaven, man. That gave you that opportunity to come to the light, right? He could have left your ass in darkness, man. And, got that? There's a book of Ecclesiastes chapter 8 from the top. Who is as a wise man and who knows the interpretation of a thing? Say, who is as a wise man, right? Um, hands wisdom. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, you can walk through here, man. You ain't got to be scared. You all work? All right. A man's wisdom making his face to shine. A man wisdom causing his face to shine, man. That wisdom is these laws that she's commandments. Hey, you got any questions, bro? If you have any questions, bro, just bring them on, right? This is the book of Job, chapter 10, verse 22. A land of darkness as darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order. And and, and, and that's that's what we're in right now. We're in, we're in Babylon, right? The land of confusion, man, with no order, man, where, where homosexuality is okay. Where where man and woman lying with each other, man and man lying with each other is okay. Right, where where it's okay to to uh, to say say you're a fifty year old man, but you want to identify as a ten year old a ten year old boy, right? Yeah. So you can have access to the little kids, man. This this place is wicked and it's gonna be destroyed. That's it, the Lord. Without any order, and where the light is as darkness, and where the light is as darkness, man. But we out here trying to show forth that light. We out here to bring that light, right? To shine that light amongst the nations, man. And amongst our people for they can gravitate to it, man. How y'all doing, sisters? Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. They're trying to dip off. What you holding? Are you want to finish? A man wisdom making his face to shine. A man wisdom uh, making his face to shine. Them law statutes and commandments, right? And the boldness of his face shall be changed. I counsel thee to keep listen, listen on, man. How you doing, bro? Hey, hey, John and Steve, man. <laughs> What's up, bro? Now you can walk through. I can ask you a question, though. Are uh, you believe in God? Absolutely. Huh? Come here, come here, bro. How you gonna walk and talk, bro? You looking for what? I'm looking for my home, girl. I got Hey, phone. look, look I got some more important information for you, man. Five well, minutes. I mean, that's really important. She's it is. Town, bro. Five she minutes, bro. bro. She'll be all right. Come on, She'll be all right. Hey, your salvation is more important than that. I'll be right there. I'm yeah. going to find her, bro. All right. Hold up, man. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. 
Think not that I'm come to destroy the law or the prophets. I want that in the translation. Give me that in the Sorry. Uh, you can bring that out. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from, th from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide with unrighteousness cometh in. Right? So so you you you, you can't even um could receive wisdom dwelling in darkness, man. You can you won't even be able to receive this wisdom and you want to be a part of the world, man. You still want to commit sin. And, and and but this is the problem that the Christian church has put on our people, man. This, this is what Christianity has done to our nation, it has destroyed our nation, man. That's why it's war against the Christian church right now, man. That's why our brothers are pulling up, pulling up on the Christian churches right now, bro. This is Matthew 5 and 17 in the NLT. Do not misunderstand why I've come. Do not misunderstand why Christ has came, right? Because a lot of Christians like to read this verse and try to use it to say they don't have to keep the commandments of God, right? Which which makes no sense because because the book of Corinthians says fornicators want into the kingdom of heaven. What is that? That's a law, right? I did not come to abolish the law of Moses. I did not come to destroy the law of Moses, right? Or to get rid of the law of Moses, right? But that's what y'all like to think, right? That's that's what y'all would, would like to push to make y'all feel good about y'all wickedness, man. Or the writings of the prophets. No, I, I came to... All the writings of the prophets, because all has to come to pass, man. All has to be fulfilled. No, I came to accomplish their purpose. Came to accomplish their purpose. Keep going in there. Oh, you keep going in there. Verse 18. I tell you the truth. He, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear. Will disappear uh, uh, until the, its purpose is achieved. Until their purpose is achieved, right? And, and give me on uh, Jeremiah 30, 30, uh, 33 and 35. Matthew 5 18 again. I tell you the truth until heaven and earth disappear. Not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear. Not, not even the smallest detail of God's law. Like my brother was saying, you have to keep a beard on your face, man. That's one of the small things, right? You must you must wear fringes. That's a small thing, man. Wearing a hundred percent clothing is a small thing, right? We we they have laws worthy of death, man. But y'all y'all neglect the smallest things, right? And y'all take pleasure in doing the abominable things, man. Y'all y'all run to wickedness, man. Israel, Israel is a nation that desires darkness, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all love darkness, man. When y'all gonna turn back to y'all God, right? When y'all gonna come back to the heavenly Father and, and ask for repentance, for y'all could get that salvation that He promised, for y'all could get the kingdom that He promised. Y'all act like y'all don't want to be on top. Y'all, y'all comfortable in, in servitude. Y'all comfortable in slavery. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 35. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 35. Thus says the Lord, which gave the sun for light by day and the ordinances of the moon, and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea when the waves therefore roared. The Lord of hosts is his name. And those ordinances depart from before me. Them ordinances depart. If them ordinances stop doing what he commanded them to do, right? Which when we, hey, we wake up, the sun's up, man. When we go to sleep, the moon is here, right? And when them ordinances depart from doing what his, his duties are, when they start fulfilling their seasons, then what? Then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So, so what that means, that means Israel is still here. 
Israel is still walking this earth. It's just Israel don't know who they are. You blacks and Spanish and Native Americans do not know who you are. And Spanish are the chosen children, children of God, man. Y'all have to repent and come back to your God, man. Y'all y'all right. prince, princesses and kings on earth. Y'all gods on earth, man. Right. We have to conduct ourselves in the image of God, man. Right? The seed of, how y'all doing, family? I can talk to y'all about the Bible real quick, real quick. No, oh, one no. question. You was in the bar, man. We good. You was in the bar? <laughs> hey, and that's crazy, right? Hey, that bar more important than God, huh? Hey, how much time do you give to God, man? Do you give God as much time as you give that bottle? Huh? And do you do that? You got to be what? No, you got to get your act together, man. What you need to do is, what you need to do is, walk. hey, come down here, bro. Come down here and get a flyer. Come get some literature for you can be taught how to how to obey God, man. Cause right now you in darkness, man. Come on, man. What time is it, bro? And, and he's drunk, bro. It's he, and he's stumbling. This is that book Isaiah chapter five, verse eleven. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning. That they, that they may follow strong drink. Hey, woe unto them, man. That wait, wake up to a bottle, man. Hey, that's the first thing on his mind, man. Hey, man, y'all wanna go down deep in the man, get some drinks, man? How let these women, man? Huh? You gotta pick. He already thinking about. It. He, he woke up. That's the first thing. Hey, what we gonna do today, bro? Gee, man, let's go hit deep in man. Hit this bar, man. You know the, you know the chicks be out there, man. Right? They continue until the night. To wine and flame them. And he it ain't even nighttime. He already stumbling, man. How y'all doing, family? Are uh, you believe in God? I guess you a question about it real quick, bro. Two uh, minutes, bro. Here we go. Here we go. So, All right, look. Do you know how to get the kingdom of heaven? Uh, uh, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say so. I didn't grow up in You didn't grow up. You ain't grow up in the church. Your grandma ain't had you in that church. My grandma was witness. Oh, she had your whole witness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Here we go. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? They say, Good master, he asked Christ, what should he do when he, to receive eternal life, right? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into, a, into life, Keep the commandments. Say, keep the commandments, man. What's your nationality, bro? What's your nationality? Both of you say African American. Uh huh. What about you, bro? Hey, you can participate, bro. It's cool, bro. But look, look, African American. That's a turn of place on us in 1989, right? So, so we're we're not. That's not our true identity, man. That was put on us by our oppressors, right? When we was brought over here by slavery and oppressed, and and, and then it was beaten to us to obey them and they gave you the name nigga, negro, color, afro-american, black, african-american so who are you? the bible tells you who you is man the bible the bible has your identity in it right? and I'm gonna prove to you that the the bible holds weight cause a lot of people look at this book like it's, 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 a, it's a fairy tale book but the truth is this bible is, is records right? this bible is records and history right? Peep me out. This Bible is records in history, right? And everything that is happening on earth is in this book. The people that the people that walk earth at this time are still walking earth today. That's why I ask people who are they, right? Because everybody has changed their names, right? Everybody put a different name on them, right? That the so-called Caucasian man has changed his name, right? He changed his name to white because he wanna feel feel um feel purity, right? But he's really the devil the Bible speaks of, man. Right. He's really the oppressor of, of Israel, man. That's why we are still being killed today. That's why this system system of, of America is made to, to oppress us, man. <laughs> hey, look, if you got any questions, ask them, bro. But watch this. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. I want I want you to tell me who did, who did this happen to? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So if you know anything about the Israelites, right? You know they was in Egypt, right? And, and, and God sent Moses to set his people free, the Israelites, right? 
So they was in slavery in Egypt, right? So the word Egypt is synonymous with slavery. So when you tell an Israelite, I'm going to put you in Egypt again, you're basically telling them, hey, I'm going to put you what you went through in Egypt again. I'm going to put you in bondage again. I'm going to put you in slavery again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. But this way he said he's going to bring you into Egypt with, by ships, right? What people on earth went into slavery by the way of ships? Us, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And sure, we're not going to see the physical landmass. He wasn't talking about the physical landmass. He was saying, saying he's going to put you in slavery somewhere else. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies so it said you're going to be sold unto your enemies you can't you can't see nowhere else in history that uh, uh, uh this entire nation went into slavery by the way of ships and was they were saying it was sold to their enemies so was we sold to we were sold to people like him right so so the bible tells us who our enemy is and that's a problem with our people right we we are we have become comfortable in captivity right and a lot of us do not know we actually have enemies we have a nation that want us no higher than this where they sit up here. They want us at the bottom, man. The only thing they allow us to do in America is to, is to entertain them. That's why the most part, all I would, I would say so-called successful because they still not. Michael Jordan, he make a lot of money, but Nike make way more money off, off of him than he do, right? So at, at the same instance, they only let us be successful when we're entertaining them. When we're rappers, actors, basketball players, football players, they, they allow us to do that, to entertain them, to, to, to sing them a song, right? But they, they won't allow us in real power, right? I was looking at a video the other day, like, they might allow one of us to get in power because they don't, they don't, they don't want to leave the, our, our leaders, they don't want to leave them at the bottom because they don't want them to raise up the nation, right? So they put the, the, the leaders of our people in a power situation where the leaders of our people, still, they start to act, act like them. They start to think they're a so-called Caucasian man. And then what we do, we we, we call them what? A sellout. Oh, you oh, you trying to be just like them, right? And there you shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. It's saying no man shall buy you. When you go into the word, it means to redeem you. Christ is our redeemer. No one was able to take us out of that situation. A lot of people try to stand up, but no one was able to take us out of slavery. We're still in slavery today. They may have took the chains off, but we're still slaves today. We still, we still have. You got a question, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was having a conversation earlier about, uh, Go ahead, bro. like keeping the mosaic law uh -huh. or not. And somebody said that um, if you if you in Christ, then you don't have to keep the commandments no more. That's but one watch this. Did Christ teach people to keep the law? I believe so. Yeah, let me show you. Give me uh, but we're just having a conversation. Yeah, but but Christ Christ told Christ told his followers to keep the commandment. Give me uh um, Matthews eight or or twenty three either one. I got I got you, bro. Cause Christ taught Christ taught his followers to keep the laws. He didn't tell them all oh, since you you know me and you have faith in me. You don't have to do them no more. You don't have to keep the commandments no more. Even after, after he died. Even after he died. Because you're going to look in the book of Acts. Um, Paul still kept the, kept the um, laws. Right? He still was making sacrifice. I got two better. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ... Depart from iniquity. And what is iniquity? Sin. So sin is the transgression of the law. So it said depart from sin. That means stop breaking my law. That means keep my commandments. You understand? So 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 we 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 are to keep the yeah. So we are to keep the commandments, and the commandments are not hard to do. They really they really simple, bro. It's harder to keep the laws in America to, to keep the commandments. Keeping the commandments is way easier, man. It's, it's a thousand gun laws, man. We only got 613. This is per, uh, oh, that's, oh yeah. This is First Peter's chapter 2, verse 21. For hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. An example. Christ kept the law, right? So he's this, so we supposed to walk like Christ too, right? Boom. 
that ye should follow his steps. Follow his steps. He was perfect, right? So we ought to be perfect. Who did no sin. He did what? No sin. He did not trust the law, transgress the law. He did not break any commandments. So that means what? Exactly, bro. Never. Uh, uh, neither was God found in his mouth. Hey, can I make more of that? And you have to think about this. Like people call themselves Christians. A Christian means like a follower of Christ. How is the law done away with? How is the law done away with and we don't have to keep it? But Christ is the example of a Torah keeper. A, a Christian is a, a, a perfect example of a Torah, a Torah keeper. So, so what are we talking about, man? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it, it's evident that we have to go to Revelation. Uh, uh, 14, 14, 14. Yeah, I guess, I guess you could say, like, uh, after he died, the law, uh -huh. the law was gone now. So the Give me that two more. I'm going to show you. All right. But this is gonna be this is gonna be after the death of Christ, right? right? Paul still Paul still made a sacrifice after the death of Christ, so he was still keeping the law. And you would think you would think Paul would know, right? Yeah. Hey, 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 did Paul teach to keep the law? He followed Christ all the time, so. Exactly. So so why would Paul tell people to keep the law after the death of Christ if we're not supposed to? Give me um, Romans three. This is Acts chapter 21, verse 20, uh, verse 20. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews that were, uh, which believe and are all zealous of the law. What? All zealous of the law. It was all law keepers. This is after Christ. So, so after Christ, before Christ, we have to keep the law. That's the that's the way to get the salvation of God. Of course, we have to have faith in Christ, most importantly. But come, how do you prove you have faith? By your actions, by your works. So you can say you have faith all you want, which the Christian church is the prime example of that. They 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 say they have all the faith, right? They go to church on su on Sunday, but that Saturday night they was doing you know what? Not all. Look, no, majority, bro. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, hey, look, majority, and, I, and I'm talking, I'm talking like 90%, ninety percent, if yeah. not more. All right, thank you. I, I got you. <laughs> this right. Hey, why you say that, man? Because huh? I know some guys that don't do wrong. Don't do what? They have sin. They have sin, but they're, they're walking in the right light. Is they okay? Watch this. Huh? They eat pork. Huh? They eat pork. No. They don't eat pork. No. <laughs> that, hey, <laughs> hey, most, hey, I asked that question. Ask him, ask him. We talked to him this morning. So, 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 so he keeps the laws, right? He keep, he keep the commandments? Yeah, he keep the commandments, but he follows Christ. Yeah, yeah. So that means keeping the commandments. keep the feast days? Day of Atonement, Passover? None of that? That's a part of the law. So, so. I appreciate it. This is about the uh, first Peter chapter 2, verse 22. And I'm going to read it in the NLT. Uh, verse 21. For God called you to do good. Even if it means suffering, just as Jesus Christ suffered for you. He is your example, and you must follow in his steps. He never sinned, nor ever deceived anyone. So how do you know if you sin or not? You have to know what the law is. Did Jesus Christ keep the law? Are you commanded to follow after the steps of Jesus Christ? Did Jesus Christ tell you to do that out of his own mouth? Why are we even discussing it? <laughs> See what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's just clear cut and plain, straight to the point, right? You got Matthew 5? Yeah. Yeah, get Matthew 5. Try, try, try. Y'all have any other quick, questions? Real quick. Because we don't have to we don't have to debate about what someone is interpreting the words of Christ. Paul. Paul never spoke with Christ. He never even met the man, right? So we don't want to go to a man who has to interpret what he thinks this guy was talking about. Let's go straight to the guy's words. Right? Because what we're reading here is exactly what Paul had. Go ahead. This is Matthew chapter This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. I read that earlier? Yeah. And what you think about it? If you read that earlier, why you came and asked me that? Well, no, because he was saying fulfilled as in fulfilled the law. Got that. No, he did. He did for. What, what, what does it mean to fulfill the law? Right. No, no, I, I, I got you. And people, people always just come. You ever what they say a, a circular definition? They say, what does it mean to fulfill? They say, fulfills to fulfill. 
Right. It's like define the word without using the word, right? One thing you have to understand is that there is prophecies within the law. That prophecies must be fulfilled. That's how they are deemed valid uh, or uh, uh, solid prophecy. That's how you solidify prophecy. Someone speaks it beforehand, and then when it comes to pass, it's like, okay, that was fulfilled already. There's prophecies that have been fulfilled. There's prophecies that have not been fulfilled, correct? Did Christ fulfill all the prophecies? No. No. He just made a hand, right? So when we understand that, people say, oh, he came to fulfill the law. Yeah, the things written in the law concerning him. Right? You got something? Yeah. Bring it out. This is Acts chapter 3, verse 18. But those things which God hath foreshowed... Uh, uh, wait a second. But those things which God before had shown by the mouth of his prophets... Read it again. Read it again. Acts 3, verse 18. But those things which God before had shown by the mouth of his prophets... Real quick, real quick. The things that God has shown before by the mouth of his prophets, prophecies, right? That's how you become a prophet. You give prophecies, right? Go ahead. That Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. The things which the prophet spoke about, how he would suffer, Christ came, fulfilled those things. Wait, wait, go back to 3, uh, uh, three and 18. I mean, now read verse 19. Read. This is Acts 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be... He says, now repent ye therefore. You guys know what it means to repent? To turn back or to turn away from. What was he commanded us to turn away from? All of the things, sin. All of the things that we read about in the prophets. Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Hosea, uh, 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 Amos. The Lord had been telling us for the longest. Stop transgressing my law. Go towards me and stop running away from me. Why would he tell us this? For millennia. <laughs> then forgive us Christ and say, okay, it's cool to do that stuff now. Right. Ain't that wild? This is what these people have convinced us, and this is why we're still stuck in the same position a whole nother millennia later. Because we are trying our best to figure out a way to justify not doing what we were supposed to do from the beginning. Fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. Keep reading. Be, uh, it says repent, go ahead. Repent ye therefore and be converted. And convert. Convert what? Convert from the ways in which you were driven away from. Give me, uh, what is that? Uh, 1 Corinthians 12. Hold that, your 1 Corinthians 12. Quick, 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 quick. Oh man. You do this with your woman? <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Bring it out. 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. 12 on the top. This is 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Real quick, let me see. As concerning spiritual gifts, I wouldn't have you ignorant. What are we going? What are we not to be ignorant about, Reed? You know that you were Gentiles. You know that you were Gentiles. Why or how did we become Gentiles? Because we chose the ways of the Gentiles over the ways of God. Give me Jeremiah two. No, not. Go ahead. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. That's what we have to repent for, and that's what we have to be converted from, right? Turn away from the ways of the Gentiles because you love these guys so much. You got that verse 21. Read 21. We're going to jump to 24. Go ahead. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter chapter 3, chapter 2, verse 21. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine. The Lord said he planted us to be noble. You guys are good. The Lord said he planted us to be noble. Right? Read. Hope, holy, and right, right seed. Holy. Not like holy, like, oh, the Holy Ghost. Whole. He planted us whole. He planted us uh, 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 rightfully. Read. Holy a right seed, how did art thou turn into a, a degenerate plant? That's why we have to turn back. Because as he's planted us whole, and as he's planted us noble, we turned into a degenerate plant. So he's saying, repent and convert back to this righteous holy seed that I planted you as, and you were supposed to grow up as the tender, beautiful herb and the beautiful flower, the lily that he had chose out of all the other flowers and all other pits of the world. Go back to that in, uh, in Acts. Go ahead. Acts? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry. Corinthians. You know what I'm talking about. Bring it out. This is Acts chapter... Uh, this is 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. You know that you were Gentiles... 
carried away unto these dumb idols. Read verse 24. It's verse 24. A wild ass used to the wilderness that uh, sn sniffed up the, the wind at her pleasure. The Lord called us a, a wild ass slung to the wilderness. We were. That's why it, it speaks about the whoredom of Israel. Because we're supposed to be the, the bride of, of the Most High God. And we're supposed to be committed him, to him as a woman is committed to her husband. But what do we do? We just go and we gallivant. Right? We go and just hop around to all of these different idols. Because these idols are representative of men. Right? And we're not supposed to go after them. So this is why the Lord likes us unto, unto that. A wild ass to the wilderness. Go ahead. And her when, in her occasion, who can turn her away? The whoredom. Who going to turn her away from this whoredom? Christ was going to turn us away from this order, right? Go ahead. All they that seek her will not weary themselves. In her mouth they shall, shall find her. And in her month she, they shall find her. Go ahead. In her, in her month they shall find her. Withhold thy foot from being unsure. It says withhold thy foot from being uncovered, right? You ain't out here barefoot. Y'all with J's on. You got the Virgil's on. You got the cool rays on, right? Cover your feet. Cover yourself, right? Read. And thou throat from thirst and don't be out here with a thirsty uh, i said a thirsty a thirsty <laughs> throat right um get, hold that no, excuse me get um john 4 12 quick john 4 12. you slow man you all you got these tags on them too bro you right go ahead bring it up this is john, john chapter 4 verse 12. art thou greater than our father jacob which gave us the well and drink thereof himself the woman speaking unto christ read and his children and his cattle. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her. Read it verbatim. Go ahead. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Whosoever drinks of the water from the well that our forefather gave, our forefather Jacob gave us, they're going to thirst again. All right? Go ahead. But, it, but the scripture in, in Jeremiah is telling us, Withhold thy, thir thy throat from thirst. Read. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him whosoever drinks of the water that Christ is going to give us Christ was going to turn us away from that degenerate plant that we were uh, uh, that we turned into read shall never thirst that's the that's the water in which we should be seeking for right. which gave us the law statutes and commandments that told us that if you break one of the least commandments you shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven that that one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law until all is fulfilled both of you guys just agree he did not fulfill law or all has not been fulfilled. He hasn't even returned yet, right? He has not even gathered the, 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 the nation of Israel and brought them back to their own land back, right? Spoken of in the prophet Isaiah. Go back to that Jeremiah, read it again. Finishing off verse 25. But thou saidest, there is no hope. We said, this is withhold thy throat from thy, thy throat from thirst. We supposed to drink the water of Christ and follow after him, which we shall never thirst again. But what do our people say? There's no hope because they tell us it's impossible to keep the laws of God. So we should we shouldn't even do it because it's impossible. You can't do it. And they make they make us feel discouraged about being righteous and being aligned with the ways of God. Tell me this is not what they're teaching us in the Christian church that pushes Paul on us to say, oh, the interpretation of Paul. Why are we going to go to him instead of going directly to Christ? Or going to the prophets who got the word directly from God himself? Right? Read that part again. But thou saidest, but thou saidest, there is no hope. But they turn around and said, what do we say? There's no hope. Read. No, for I have loved strangers. No, but I've loved these Gentiles. I've loved strangers. And what? And after them will I go. And after them will I go. That's why we now have to be turned, I mean, have to repent. And we have to be converted. Go back to Acts 3. Bring your precept out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21. In the NLT, red letter. Not everyone that calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. Only those that do the will of the Father will answer. Read. On judgment day, many shall say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. Give me give me Hosea, I mean, uh, Hebrews 10. I'm going to show you all something real quick, right? Because he says, only those that do the will of God is the ones that he's going to receive and answer in the day in which he's come. Not the ones that just call on him. No, but those that do the will of God. Give me Hosea, I mean, excuse me, Hebrews 10 and um, 7. Go ahead. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. 
Then, then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. This is Christ, right? I come in the volume of the book, read. It is written of me. It is written of Christ to do what? To do thy will. To do the will of God, read. Oh God. Oh God. And we know that the will of God that he performed, that he fulfilled, was coming and fulfilling his charge and his command, and also following the law, statutes, and commandments. I'm going to show you this where it was written before in the prophets. Go me, give me uh, Psalms 10. Quick, 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 quick. It's the, the names is right, brother. Psalms is right there, brother. In your face, brother. Go ahead. Come on. Psalms 10 and 7. Bring it up. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Psalms 40. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, listen, I want, you, I want you to get the scripture so damn fast. Quick, bring it out. This is Psalms chapter 40, verse 8. I delight. Verse 7. It's Psalms uh, chapter 40, verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. We see it again. The, lo, I come in the volume of the book. Read. It is written of me. It is written of, of, of uh, 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 the spirit that's on the man that's fulfilling the rightness, which we understand later on became Christ. Read. I delight to do thy will. To do the will. This is the point. Those who are going to be received upon the returning of Christ is those that do the will, not just those that call on him. Read. Oh my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. Yea, my God, thy law is within thy heart. Read. The law is within thy heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. I have preached righteousness in the congregation. Read. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. Thou have not refrained thy lips, O Lord, thou knowest. Read. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. Read 8 again. Go ahead. Verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. I delight to do thy will. Read. Yea, thy law is within my heart. The, when you do the will of God, the laws of God are within your heart. People turn around and say, but this is the law of Christ. The, the law of Christ is the will or the desire and the charge given from the Father. Give me John 5 and 30. Give me John 5 and 30. It's crazy how people sit up here and just, and, and I'm not saying you do this, but it's crazy how people sit up here and take the man's actual words and try to make them be what they want them to be. Let's go directly to what he said. Go ahead. This is John chapter 5 verse 30. I can of my own self do nothing. He says I can of my own self do nothing. Read. As I hear, I judge. As I hear, I, I as I hear, I do what? I judge. Wait, 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 come here real quick. You don't like the you don't like deep? You talking about why we so deep? Tell your man that. Go ahead. I judge. And my just judgment is just. Read, come on, read it again. Right, let's get focused, right? So why are you so deep? Right, that's what she said. She ain't never complain. God damn it. Bring it out. I, I can of my own self do nothing. Christ said he can of his own self do nothing. So how do we now turn around and take the laws of God and then juxtapose it or separate it as the laws of Christ is something different? As if he got here and seen what was going on and said, yeah, you know, I gotta make a I gotta make a few amendments. I gotta make a few changes. No, he came to do the will of God. He can't of his own self do anything. Read. As I hear, I judge. As he hear, he judges. What is he judging according? According to the judgments of God. Go ahead. And my judgment is just. And his judgments are just. Read. Because I seek not my own will. Because he's not seeking his own will. We seek the will of the Father. The will of the Father is the laws of God, which is what we're supposed to delight in. These are the people that's going to be received upon the return of Christ. Right. See what I'm saying? You got it? That's a, that's a good number. <laughs> good number to call, huh? Yeah, that's me. That's a good number? That's me. How about I say, I'm from Cali, man. If that's a good, that's on the fly, that's a good yeah, number. Right. You got the Instagram, you got the Facebook, you got the YouTube, everything is on there, man. Y'all got to recognize, you got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of God. And I'm going to tell you this, get you guys sell some ZTs, man. Because the ZTs is going to make you, you're going to look down at them and you're going to recognize, oh, snap. I know I got to be on my best behavior when I'm walking out of this house. Right. I got to make sure that I'm walking within, in, within line or within the righteousness of God. And you know what else it's going to do? It's going to cause the little girlies that you go out here and you attract, right? And they're going to say, yo, what is that right there? I ain't never seen nobody rock those. And now you put yourself in perfect, perfect position to minister unto our people the gospel get into the marriage and bring those people into the righteousness and obedience of God. All right? Appreciate it, man. Y'all have a good one. All right, man. And with that, we give all honor, glory, and praise to the Most High God. Abba Yahweh is his name. 
We do so in the name of his only begotten son, Amashak Yahweh And we say, Krav Yashrut up! Krav Yashrut You got a question, sir? Come here real quick. I have a question, man. I want to see why the Lord did that to your crown. Come here. How do you... Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'll play. What do you want? What's your ethnic background, if you don't mind me asking? Just, just, just for context. European? How do you how do you feel about the rape, rob, and murder of black, Hispanic, and Native Indians here in the Americas? I don't think it's any different than any other race. Okay, so how do you feel about it? You said you don't think there's any it's difference. Too much. It's too much? Way too much. So what do you think should happen for it? For all the wrong, the rape, rob, murder, the destruction, the degradation. So taking guns away is going to repair for years and centuries of rape, rob, and murder. Okay, so let's answer my question that I'm asking you, not making it about what you want it to be, right? Do you allow your children to talk to you this way? If you say, Rebecca, where have you been? And she says, Dad, I, I can't believe there was these shoes that I just really love. Can I show you them on the internet? No, you missed your curfew. Where have you been? Dad, that's a great shirt you have on. It really just shows your figure. You're not gonna allow, you're not gonna allow them to switch the topic. You're gonna say, no, we're gonna talk about this, okay? Or I'm going to invade your personal space. Now, how do you feel about the rape, rob, and murder? You said it's too much. What should happen for it? How do we rectify it? What's a proper remedy? You said take away the guns. So taking away the guns solves years of degradation. You said what would I do? What should be done for it as a as a repercussion, as a as a reparation, as a restoration? So you're saying that the people that suffer it, they're just always going to be destroyed. They're just they're, there's no healing for it. I didn't say money will. I'm not even. I'm asking you. Wait, wait, wait. So you re re <laughs> Typical. Listen, typical white guy want to create his own definitions for things. Reparation means to repair. How do we repair the wrong that was done to Black, Hispanic, and Native Indians? As you being the successor of those that did the wrong, how do we repair? It? I said as the successor. Sir, you look like a real erudite man. Thank you. You see how you laugh when I use the word erudite? That means you know what I'm talking about. So, how do we repair it? I don't, I don't think money would because you wouldn't allow anybody to pay you any amount of money to do wrong to your children or to your wife. So, what can be done? You guys, are you guys God-fearing people? I think you have to invest in the community. You, you said you are? Invest in the community? Would you allow that? Somebody just somebody just wrongs and harms your children, but as long as they pay for their college tuition, as long as they invest into their small business and turns into a big business, we've done the job. Are you God-fearing? I believe in God. You believe in God? Do you believe in His Son? Okay. Do you believe in the Word of God? So what about your, what does your God say? I believe in God and I don't need to believe in God. Okay, so Christ is out, but, you're, but you do believe in the creator of heaven and earth. Is your God just? All right, let's read. Let's read about God. Let's read about God before Jesus hit the scene. Numbers 35, 33. Show you something. Go ahead. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. Read. For blood is defiled of the land. Do you feel like the land we're in right now is defiled by blood? Absolutely. Okay. Read. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood we that is shed therein. It seems like she's your God. <laughs> she's part of your God? I got you. I got you. <laughs> I, hey, I understand you gotta I understand you gotta get home tonight. Alright? He said, listen, man, I gotta go home, man, with that. Bring it out. Read that part. He said, and the blood can what? Say, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. But by what? But by the blood of him that shed it. How do you how do you feel about that proposal? How do you feel about it? How does your God feel about an eye for an eye? You haven't talked to him? Why haven't you talked to your God? Shouldn't you be in, in, in constant communication with him? He, she, or it? But you know that there is something. And and, and you believe that he is just. How, are you? Do you guys believe in justice? Why not? Is this another part of your God? Wow. That's your child. This is your child. Come on, Becky. How do you, can I ask you guys a question? Anybody ever told you you look like Kimmy Gibbler? You look like Kimmy Gibbler. Come 
Yasarada! For those of you that don't know what that means, that means rise up Israel. In Israel, the black Hispanic and native vineyards, we are on the rise. Right. All right? Prepare for the day when we will rule in righteousness over the people that oppress us. And you won't have to answer for the degradation, rape, rob, and murder of our people. Thus saith the Most High God. Shalom.